Back from the weekend on Locked On Coyotes, we're going to talk about some fresh new gear that just got released for Arizona Coyotes goaltender Corral Bay Melka. Plus, will you subscribe to the new streaming service to watch Coyotes games? We're going to talk about that and more on this episode of Locked On Coyotes. Your Locked On Coyotes, your daily podcast on the Arizona Coyotes, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm Robin Leonio. That's Carl Pavlock right beside me. On today's episode of Locked on Coyotes, we want to thank everyone for making this show your first listen every day. We are free and available on all platforms, including Apple, Google, Spotify, the Odyssey app. And for a lot of these local listeners who uh, subscribe to, you know, local TV channels, we're also on the 12 News app. Such exciting stuff. We're good. glad to be back. From the weekend, I'm glad to be back after a bit of a week off, figuring out my tech, some de- technical difficulties on my end. But we got a lot of stuff stuff to get to on this episode, Carl. Yep, a lot of stuff to talk about. Let's go ahead and start off with um, some fresh new gear because obviously I'm going to put it up in a little bit. But Karelve Melka, Carl, has new gear for his uh, goalie equipment, and oh my god, is it beautiful! Yep. Uh, earlier today, NHL that or the NHL Twitter page, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, revealed uh, Carol Vimelka's new pads. Um, he's got uh, new new pads. Haven't seen the helmet yet. I'm sure he'll get a new one of those. But they look really good. Um, like definitely uh, incorporate the Kachina color scheme, which makes sense because I imagine the Coyotes are gonna be wearing that jersey the entire time. Uh, I, I think these will look good no matter what jersey. They're they're black, uh, so they're going to look good with the black, of course. But I think they're also going to like really stand out with the white too. Absolutely, we're going to go ahead and uh, and bring it up just to show everybody how awesome it is. Um, and I really got to say, like, it is so cool to see the uh, these things. Like you said, it's black and it's got the Kachina colors, the green and the red, um, which is really cool, right? I mean, like. Just overall, like, you could pick any of those Kachina colors. Obviously, you know, um, here at Locked on Coyotes, we're also a little partial to purple. That's why we got purple as yep. our main color. But, I mean, these this just works so well. Like, I don't know how, how else to put it. Like, it just looks so cool. Yeah, I, I'm not usually one for, for green and hockey jerseys. Like, I, I really tend to avoid it. Uh, other than the, the Dallas Stars, I think they're the best team to incorporate the color green but i i like the shade that they go with especially because it is uh the second most prominent color with black definitely being the the main color um and i like the the hint of red like it is a really good you know color mixture uh i i do kind of wonder like how those jerseys like went out of fashion when like the color the colors fit so well the only thing that I have that I'm skeptical about, and that's why I was like, hey, you want to use a little bit of purple in there? Because not very many teams use purple. Um, is the fact that, like, these pads could also technically go well if you're on the Minnesota Wild. Or if you are, you know, sporting the like an alternate jersey for the New Jersey Devils. Like, <laughs> I mean, they definitely look better than anything associated with the new jersey devils i do not <laughs> like their their christmas jerseys uh p- perhaps a controversial opinion um you are right though it, it definitely is you know very similar to what we see with the minnesota wild um so like something like purple would be definitely more like specifically coyotes but you know even, that's that, even better incorporate the sand color Mm. a little bit somewhere somehow like yeah a, 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 a very very thin accent doesn't have to doesn't have to be a lot but at that point i think you're just kind of like 
over designing it. Like the fact that it is what it is. Yeah. I like, mean, don't get me wrong. I love it already. Right. Like I yeah. already said, it looks fantastic. I I do like it. It does seem like we're getting back into you know goalies expressing their style with the pads. Um, cause for a while it seemed like that was less so the case, but you're seeing a lot of like really distinctive pads now. And I like this trend. I like the fact that goalies continue to be able to express themselves in ways that none of the other uh, skaters can. It's, it's, it's the younger generation. And I will say a little bit of some of some like, like, you know, old time goalies do, doing it too. Like, like Mark Andre Fleury, like had his uh, when he was in the Golden Knights, had his like golden. I think even Robin Leonard too, the golden pads. Like, yeah. Say say what you want about the Golden Knights, but they have gotten some really interesting characters as goaltenders uh, who are happy to express themselves and kind of like. I, I like that the Coyotes are also doing that because you know. Speaking of which, I know. Like I know, like we're not a Golden Knights podcast or whatever, but I have to mention it one sec. But did you see the potent, the the rumored new jerseys for the Golden Knights? Oh, um, I think so. Uh, briefly, like on Twitter, it had like Vegas going down like the side, right, and some red yeah. incorporated. And it has a very '90s Vancouver Canucks look. Yeah, yeah, that was a very. I, I didn't really like that. But then again, like I, I don't particularly find the Vegas jerseys to be that good. Uh, I feel like the Coyotes wore the arm thing better. Uh, like with the, with the last round of the Howling Coyote Head logo jerseys. Uh, but they're trying. Vegas, Vegas is trying. Speaking of which, let's go back to... Uh late last week the nhl locked on nhl put out power rankings um voted by a lot of our hosts here at locked on nhl on who has the best jerseys the coyotes had were were voted as number two which baffled some of the hosts because it it should have been number one because number one was the flames are you uh, over arizona yeah, the Flames are, are not the jersey that I would have gone with. Uh, I, I get that some people don't like the Kachina because it is a very bold kind of jersey. Uh, but the Flames are never like... I don't know. Who th- who thinks of the Flames as having the best jersey in the NHL? No one. I, I don't even are think they good, Flames are they, fans. Like, are, is, is it a good color combo and is it a good uniform? Yeah. Is it yeah. the best? No. <laughs> no. The, like the my, flaming sea. You know what my one and two were? What? One Kachina, two Kraken. Mm. I, I don't particularly like the Kraken. You don't. I do. That's my. It's the Gen Z in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I like the color scheme. I just think that the jersey is uh, is, is a whole lot of fluff, uh, just like the team. I mean, it's. I mean, at least it's much, much, much better than Vegas's. So, I kind of like the Vegas logo more. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the the Seattle the S with with suction cups. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think you're in the minority here, Carl. <laughs> Uh, yeah, probably. I I just I remember when that came out, and I was like, "Oh, okay, that's neat." Uh, and then everyone seemed to be like, "Oh, it's the best part ever." And I'm like, "It's the best Easter egg." And I'm like, "No, it's it's pretty noticeable. Like you can tell." I mean, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't call. I would. I mean, it's is it an Easter egg? Yes, but it's an. I mean, like, but like, you can tell. It's not like. Yeah. It's like it's like the you know, you know the arrow of FedEx. It's obvious, but. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, I, I like the powder blue, but the this, the Kraken jersey just does not impress me. Fair enough, fair enough. But for me, it was my number two. So that's fun. Um, 
forgot what the rest of my rankings were, but I know those were my one and two. Uh, I forgot to vote, so uh, blame me for the for the not number one. Yep, yep. Blame me. Absolutely. Everyone blame Carl. <laughs> you should. Anyways, we still got more to get to on this episode of Locked On Coyotes. We're going to ask you a good question about streaming services because there's a new one um, that uh, got announced sometime last month, and now we're going to talk about it in just a moment. But first, I'm going to turn to Carl for a quick word. So I have to say, if you haven't tried the Built Bar Puffs yet, you are depriving yourself of one of life's greatest joys. And guess what? There's a new flavor. Ready? It's the delicious, indulgent cookie dough. Covered in 100% chocolate. That's right. Built has done it again. All of the joys of eating cookie dough without the hassle of making it. Plus, it's healthy for you because the cookie dough chunk puffs are only 160 calories and they have a whopping 15 grams of protein. I've made cookie dough. Uh, it's not fun. It requires a lot of work, uh, and there's a lot of cleanup, and it's just not something that you know you want to do if you can avoid it. And that's why you should go with the Built Bar Puffs. What I want you to do is go to Built.com, use the promo code LOCKED15 or LOCKEDON15 to get 15% off your order. That's promo code LOCKEDON15 for 15% off. All right, so let's get back to this episode of Locked On Coyotes um, as we discuss, you know, various different things. But I think this is this is an important t- topic, Carl, because we're talking streaming services. Because, you know, obviously, if you're a, if you're a hockey fan, a lot of you guys are probably going to be ESPN Plus subscribers, so you can watch out of market games. Um, sure. But a lot of you here in Arizona are subscribed to, let's say, you know, Sling TV or dish or fubo or you know any of the other cord cutting ones right Um, does youtube still do live tv i think they do tv hulu tv any of those right yeah if you subscribe to any of those you do not have access to bally sports arizona um so bally sports arizona announced last month that their streaming service, Bally Sports Plus, is going to be coming to Arizona. Here's the mm-hmm. thing. You, you pay about 20 bucks a month to be able to watch all Coyotes and all, I believe, um, is it Suns games or is it Diamondbacks games? I know it's... Uh, Suns games. Suns games. Okay. All Coy- okay, Oh, because MLB is going to be a whole different package. Um, so all Coyotes and all Suns games be able to watch on this... For twenty bucks a month, um, and this is of course if you're not if you're not if you're not one of the lucky few who has that who has Bally Sports on their Cox or Direct TV or whatever it might be. Uh, they do have an annual package for one hundred and eighty nine ninety nine. Uh, so that saves you a decent amount of money, maybe. Like, yeah, but if you're if you're like me who and you're only gonna watch the Coyotes games and not the Suns games, it yeah. It doesn't save you that much. Uh, also, I mean, like, that's just a killer price considering how long the hockey season is. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Like, if, if you are a diehard Coyotes fan and you don't have, and you don't have any other means of watching the game, um, like, yeah, I mean, I get it. Right, I yeah. get the reason why it's being done, but at the same time, you know, I, I also think to my head, like, why not, you know, extend your package to other streaming platforms? I mean, here's kind of the thing like, all up until this point, Bowie Sports Arizona has only been available with cable or direct TV. Um, and everyone was extremely upset about that. Uh, and a lot of people like complained on Twitter. Like I saw like a lot of people would like at the five for howling account be like, Hey, I don't have cable. I can't watch it. Uh, and just in general, uh, Bally sports and their parent company, Sinclair broadcasting are very, very greedy. 
um, and they want to make sure that they get the most amount of money. Uh, it's it's one of the reasons why I hated watching games on uh, Ballet Sports Plus because like the UI was just so ugly because there was constantly like streaming at the bottom. They would do ads like during the power plays. So like the clock you can see because there's an ad because they want to maximize money and they know that you don't have any other option um, besides, you know, going to a sketchy, like, you know, streaming site where you could watch all the games free and get a bunch of like spyware on your computer. Yeah. Um, and I think because of that, they know, like, yeah, they're taking advantage of it, which I get from a business perspective. I a hundred percent get it because obviously you're trying to make, you're trying to maximize your revenue. You're trying to make, you're, you're trying to bring in money. And there's, there is a market of people who will buy this package. Yeah. The, the problem for me though, is like, it's also like limiting that market. And I'm sure the coyotes, especially would love to be like, we want to use, see our games as much as possible. Um, you know, we want to make sure that we are constantly in your mind because not a lot of people are actually going to go to games this year. Like just, you know, space wise, like not everyone who wants to go to a game is probably going to go to a game, but like their streaming service or their like broadcast partner, they're just like, nah, this is, this is how we're going to do it. And we're going to try and maximize revenue. And I think it's going to work because it's still going to be cheaper than cable. Like, yeah, uh, right, let's put it this way. If you are just a sports fan, right? And yeah. All you want to do is watch the Coyotes and the Suns um, and you watch nothing else on TV. 20 bucks a month does not hurt you because like, like if you're somebody else who has Netflix, who has Hulu, who has Disney Plus, who has all that, all that price adds up. And then all of a sudden you're paying a lot more than cable. But if you just want sports, 20 bucks a month is easy. Yeah. Uh, so my sister has cable, um, and uh, I use her login, uh, which is how I get to watch Coyotes games. Uh, but, you know, leading up to that, I was talking to her uh, last season, and she was like, I'm going to cancel cable. I was like, all right, that's fine. Uh just know you're not going to be able to watch any Coyotes games. And she's like, why? I was like, because Valley Sports is only on Cox. If you cancel your cable, you can't watch any games. Um, now, I would occasionally like use her stuff. like Because if you have like a, a, a Roku, like you can watch like FX channel and that kind of thing with a cable subscription. So there is that convenience thing. But, you know, there's a lot that goes into a cable package that you don't use. Um, and I do think that there are people like my sister who kept onto cable because of that one thing, because of sports, because it is one of those things that you need to watch live. Exactly. You're hundred percent there. Like it's, it's going to be interesting. That's for darn sure. It's going to be really interesting to see the kind of people that subscribe to it and the kind of content that's there because obviously it's gonna be more than just the games right because there's gonna be you know probably ex exclusive content right yeah you know, insider content or whatever it might be um but i mean let me just say this like ballet sports plus is just the channel like now like uh i i have access to it on my roku through the cable login and sure, there's extra stuff there, but I, I don't think that they're necessarily going to, like, add a bunch of stuff. Like, I don't think you're going to get, like, a channel or, like, a bunch of, like, streaming exclusive content. Well, um, no, but you will get, like, there, there will be, like, you know, an easy place to find Coyotes features. Yeah. Right? It's like, oh, here are our Coyotes features. Here's something that we did on... um on the emergence of Clayton Keller in this last season or something like that, you know, here's something on the rookies coming up in this last season. Like, yeah. it is really unfortunate though, because for like that price, 
you would hope that there would be a bunch of like special features like and there's nothing stopping Bally Sports from being like, yeah, we're going to like have a podcast on there or just like a weekly like kind of like live show and and give you like something for your money. But eh, like this whole thing, it just feels I very mean, they cash grabby. If if they wanted to, they can go ahead and and like obviously it requires more manpower. Um, but they'd have to, I mean, they could, they could very well go out and be like, okay, we're like, you know, like I said, exclusive content. And that means like, for example, having like a weekly or even daily show on the Suns and coyotes, right? It's like, oh, we're going to do like essentially like what we do, but like in Valley sports studios in a very short form, like, Hey, let's talk about the coyotes for half an hour. Yeah, you, they absolutely could. Um, and, and like so many things, it feels like that they 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 just want to make the money. They they don't care about like providing a quality product for that. Because if they did, like, th- I would not be complaining about the you know watching a game on the channel. Like, it wouldn't be this thing where it was like on cable this entire time only the the games would look much better like there we would be getting a better product but it's just not really a concern for a company that you know they're not necessarily a monopoly but they're they're pretty much a monopoly on coyotes and just hockey in general in phoenix yeah i mean there's like um there's not very many other people who cover. i mean like they are the TV rights holders for them. And then you have, um, you know, the Arizona Republic who does the majority of the, of the news writing. And obviously you have, and you have, you know, PHNX is, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, people who cover them, but like, again, you know, only one place to watch, you know, you know, mainly like to, to have very exclusive Coyotes video content. Yeah. Yeah. Which again, for sports, it's the most important content. Like everything that we do is dependent on what there mean? being a live game that we watch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like if they just were like, Hey, here's the season. Here's every single game. Uh, we've pre-taped it. Just watch it as is uh, that there would be no interest in that. The fact that things are live that gives sports so much, uh, especially with the emerging like g- gambling mo- market too. Right. Now here's the question: Will you subscribe? Uh, like like I said, uh, I told my sister about it. Um, if, if she does elect to cut the cable, uh, I will I will probably continue to use her login. Uh, just so everyone's clear, I also give her a bunch of my logins. So like she has my Disney Plus, ESPN Plus, Hulu, uh, and my Netflix. Uh, I have her HBO um so so we split things pretty evenly um just want to make that clear i'm not just completely mooching off my sister <laughs> no i think just in general the idea you know the idea of password sharing you know <laughs> i'm just yeah. kidding everyone does it but you know <laughs> yeah just just i'm hoping no uh no people with uh the broadcast network are listening to this podcast who knows who knows? Anyways, any final thoughts you'd like to share about this or anything else we talked about? Uh, I think this is uh, unfortunately a case of be careful what you wish for. People wanted a, a Valley Sports solo app, uh, app. They're getting it. They are getting it indeed. Um, and obviously only time will tell on how exactly it looks. I'm interested. I might because, you know, I need to cover the team. Um, subscribe because I need, I, I, you know, I need, I need a way. Um, even though I only live 15 minutes away from the, from, from the, from the arena, might not, I'm not be, might not be able to go to ever again. So I need to find out a way. Yeah. Just make sure you don't eat any avocado toast for a month. Uh, you know, brew your own coffee, do all the things that they tell the, the younger people to do. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Anyways, though, that's going to be it for today's episode of Locked On Coyotes. If you like what you heard, don't forget to leave a review, like, comment, subscribe if you have yet to already. We're available everywhere you get your podcasts, including on YouTube. 
Don't forget to interact with us on social media. We're on Facebook, facebook.com slash locked on coyotes, on Instagram at locked on coyotes, and on Twitter at L O underscore coyotes. I am personally at Robin underscore Leano with Robin with a Y underscore L E A N O. Carl Pavlock is at Carl Pavlock F F H. Interact with us, ask the question you might have, we might answer right back, or on a future episode of the Locked On Coyotes podcast. Thanks again, everyone, for listening to today's episode. I hope you guys are staying safe out there, hope you guys are staying healthy, and don't forget to howl on.